Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to Steins Gate. Uh, so, a little small announcement before we start. First off, we've got a mail, as you can see in the top right corner, top left corner, sorry. And uh, I wanted to make a little bit of announcement about the series. So, I was thinking, you know, I wanted to go for the true ending first, and, you know, the only way to go for the true ending, because it's kind of hard to get, you have to know what you're doing pretty much to get it. The only way to do it was I'd have to pour over through uh, through a bunch of like flow charts and I'd have to hit certain flags and I was thinking about it for a while and while I wouldn't mind doing it I was looking at it it doesn't seem fun it doesn't seem fun for first try through and I'm sorry if anyone wanted the first try through to be a true ending I wouldn't mind doing it for a second ending but just it doesn't seem fun pouring over these flow charts is not fun <laughs> Like, I, I, I tried for about five minutes, and I realized there's massive spoilers in there, and there's you have to keep checking it, and it requires you to do things a perfect way to get it. And at least for a first try through, I don't like that. I don't mind getting a bad run, like, a not a, even a bad run, just a different ending, and doing something else, but... As a first try through, I'm not going to get the true ending unless I just happen, maybe like uh, out of the rarest of chances, happen to stumble upon it. I'm not going to. So I want every I wanted everyone to know that just ahead of time. So it will make the series longer, but I will do just like I did in 999, where um, if there's a shared experience or a shared area, I'll cut those out, and then whenever we get to something new, I'll go to that. Just so everyone knows, I've thought about this for quite a couple days now, and this is the decision I've decided to make. Also, we have a mail. From Lukako. Are you really okay with yesterday's exorcism? I feel like a more traditional ceremony would have been better. I'm worried something might happen to you because my exorcism wasn't strong enough. It bothers me so much, I can't sleep at night. P.S. Because of that, I couldn't do more than three practice swings with some Samadere. Samadere? Samadere. Okay, uh, so what do we want to reply to her back with? Uh, are we okay with yesterday's exorcism? I was fine with it. I don't think a more traditional ceremony would have been better. And I don't think something bad's gonna happen, so we're gonna reply about the exorcism. It wasn't bad, just a little clumsy. You're a servant of the gods. You need to pr project dignity and confidence. Work on it. So, and uh, another thing. So apparently... We've got a new thing. Let's go to our settings. Apparently, I can change my wallpaper. So, because we messaged Mayuri about the Upa, she sent us some Upa wallpapers. <laughs> Including this creepy thing. <laughs> oh, good. That one's got blood on it. Let's do that one. Uh, so, yeah. So, different choices can give you different wallpapers, apparently. <laughs> which is kind of funny. And, uh, like I said, though, it just, it doesn't, uh, too long didn't read. It doesn't seem like fun, and I'd like to not get immensely spoiled. So, on, uh, on other paths. I know about the true path from the anime, but on other paths. So, I'm just gonna play through it once, and then for a second playthrough, I'll give the true ending, because that's the best ending, mind you. Um, and I'd like to end on a good note. So, uh, we're just gonna continue forward. It's so hot. It was, I was at university all morning. As I return to Akaba, the heat is now becoming unbearable. I grab an iced coffee at the bakery and said, Yodo Bashi to quench my thirst. While I'm at it, I guess I'll check on at channel on my phone. I mostly frequent the occult board, the future technology board, and sometimes the physics board. I search for threads on the mass disappearance phenomenon or Makase Kursu stabbing, but turn up nothing. So... Were those hallucinations after all? They must be, I mean... It seems so real, but... It must be a hallucination if... We can't find any information on it. When I peek at the occult board, I find posts in multiple threads from someone claiming to be John Titor, Titor. Wait... John Titor is back? John Titor appeared on an American BBS ten years ago, claiming to be a time traveler. He claimed to have traveled from the year 2036 in order to obtain an old computer, the IBM 5100. His claim started from started quite a storm among the BBS Din, Dinzinians. Dinzins. Titer also made several accurate, if fragmentary, predictions of future events. The start of the Iraq War and the spread of 
I'm not even going to butcher that, but you can read it yourself. For example, to prove he was from the future, he explained the principles behind his time machine and provided pictures of its operation manual. But after about four months, he disappeared without ever revealing his identity. At one point, his predictions gained popularity even in Japan. Yes, he certainly did get something right. But on the other hand, he missed several others. Some of his posts contradicted with each other too. That's why, to this day, most people doubt his authentic how authentic he is as a time traveler. So, after 10 years of silence, that same John Titer is now on Japanese BBS? Ridiculous. It's obviously a troll. First of all, John Titer is American, yet now he's posting on at channel in, Jap in Japan. J Japanese. Let's take a look at his post. Okay. Oh, should I be reading all this? Ah, oh, crap. And I can't scroll up. Okay, well, you can pause the video. I'll look at it myself later once I edit the video. I'm not going to read all I'm just going to read through this quickly in my mind. You can pause and read it as well. What does lol mean? Okay. Oh. I came here to change my present. Everyone is free, but you'll lose it all in 20 short years. Now that's interesting, right? Fraud, what's a dystopia? <laughs> you guys are so smart. You've been reading too much manga. I, for one, welcome our new CERN overlords. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of text here to read. Feel free to pause. Keep in mind, feel free to pause. Do you even know what CERN is? LOL. OP is troll. These guys have great IDs. Time Machine picks her GTFO. <laughs> this seems just like a real chat, doesn't it? Lol, what? Lol, backpedaling. <laughs> oh gosh, there's so much text to read. been fun talking to everyone. Looks like they've already made an archive of these threads. Of course, there have been sites dedicated to John Teeter for years now. This post closely resembles what the original Teeter wrote ten years ago. I've read one of the books on Teeter. That's how I know. This new John Teeter is clearly an imposter. There are many Teeter fanatics on that channel. He's not exactly a household name in Japan, but I doubt anyone would fall for this level of trolling. As I continue to read, however, I find the response the opposite of what I expected. Everyone is accepting this time traveler as if this were his first appearance. Nobody has even mentioned his appearance ten years ago. Finding the strange, I try posting a retort, but everyone ignores me. What the heck? You guys are jerks. You can figure this out if you do a little research, people. There's the original John Teeter thread archive in English, and plenty of tighter blogs in Japanese. I entered John Teeter's name into a search engine. Twelve matches? Oh, wait. Only twelve? Moreover, all twelve are about the current Teeter postings on that channel. I can't find a single trace of the Teeter from ten years ago. Bizarre. This just can't be. I searched for information on Teeter a few years ago. Back then, I got tens of thousands of hits. Is the search engine filtered? 
I try searching on another site, just to make sure, but it gives the same result. What is this madness? It feels like I've stumbled onto another plane of reality. Could this be another organization conspiracy? These past two days, I've been surrounded by nothing but chaos and confusion. I'll call Daru. He'll know about Teeter for sure. After all, I've talked to him about Teeter before. I only vaguely remember the details of that conversation. But I'm positive the conversation happened. By the time I dig my phone out of my bag, I no longer feel like I'm making the call. Instead, I send him an email on the way back to the lab. He replies to this location. By May Queen, he means May Queen plus Nyan Nyan, a May Cafe. Daru's a regular there. Apparently, 3D cat maids are his thing too. <laughs> May Queen Nyan Nyan is only a three minute walk from the lab. Coming from Kurama Bashari Dori, take a left at Tsumaka Makoi Saka Crossing and you'll find it. That's where I'm headed now. It's usually busy in Akaba during the summer break, but now it's even busier because of the Radio Kaikan incident. The area was blocked off yesterday, but it doesn't look like they could keep the main road closed for two days straight. I haven't seen a single police officer today. But the Radio Kaikan building still seems off limits. The entrance shutters are closed shut and sealed with yellow police tape. え、警察による規制は解除され、駅前にはものすごい数の人が集まっています。墜落した人工衛星がどこの国のものなのかについては現在も調査中とのことで、詳しいことがわかるまで撤去ができない状態です。警察の発表によりますと、爆発などの危険
And then she goes back to looking at her phone. If she is, then I may have to take suitable measures. <笑>違うとしても問題がありますよ。俺の写真を持っていると期間に知られれば、あなたにも奴らの間の手が伸びるかもしれない。とにかく今撮った俺の写真を即刻削除してほしい。謝る。わあ、she she lowers her head slightly in a bow. Or, at least, I think it's a bow. She's been looking down all this time, so I can't really tell. Her fingers dance across her phone's keys with impressive speed, exactly the opposite of her annoying slow speech pattern. Or is she one of the people who came to see the satellite? In that case, why did she take a picture of me? She shakes her head without looking at me. <laughs> I, I didn't even notice it till now down here. Lady ignoring me and apparently sightseeing in Akihabara. <laughs> Strange lady apparently sightseeing in Akihabara. I guess she's introducing herself. That's nice, but I just want her to delete that photo. An urban legend? What is she talking about? Don't tell me. There's a brilliant but insane mad scientist said to be lurking in Akihabara? And now, that brilliant but insane mad scientist is the target of every assassin in the underworld? レトロ PC? She replies with a nod, or something like a nod. Nothing about a mad scientist. I'm relieved, but also disappointed. At any rate, this is the first I've heard about a phantom retro PC. That's the first model that comes to mind. But are 98s really that hard to find? She shakes her head slightly, or something like a shake. She turns her phone towards me. The screen shows an oddly shaped computer. Very low res oddly shaped computer. It's hard to tell since the picture's monochrome, but it looks like some kind of PC. It looks kind of familiar. IBM 5100. An IBM 5100. That is, that is actually the type of computer that he was wanting. Her fingers twitch, I think. Coincidence? No. これも死体図データの選択かもしれん。詳しい人知らない。ダルンならば詳しく知っているかもな。そいつは俺のマイフェイバリットライトアームであるスーパーハッカー。MI6のチューズにすらハッキングできる実力の持ち主なのだ。the MI6 part is a slight exaggeration. If that did ever happen, Men in Black would break down our door and take us away. But the super hacker part is true. The depth of his computer knowledge is uncanny. 
Speaking of Daru, I'm supposed to meet him at May Queen Nyan Nyan. I don't have time to stand and chat with some crazy lady I don't know. Media Scrum? Media Scrum? What is that? I wonder, I'm kind of curious. Can I click on these? No. Okay, I just wanted to see if I could. I try to make a smooth exit. One liner and everything, but she grabs my sleeve before I can disappear into the crowd. I guess she wants to hear Daru's story. It's my fault for mentioning him. Well, I'm meeting up with Daru, so why don't I just take her along? N no, wait a sec. This could be a devious trap. Maybe she's really a spy sent to kidnap Daru. I'm defenseless without him. <laughs> my only other ally is Mayuri, whose skills amount to costume design. I slip past her and start walking faster. I glance back. She's following me. I pick up the pace. But she's still chasing me. Unperturbed, she shows me her phone again. On the screen is the picture of me that she took. Yeah. I attempt to glare her into submission. But her eyes are already lowered. My glare is ineffective. She hesitates for a second. One of those companies that writes articles for magazines? Is this gloomy lady really fit for that kind of work? <gasps> the mad scientist of Akiba, unveiled, I can see the headline now. That's all the organization will need to turn Akiba into, into a sea of blood. No, I must avoid that gruesome outcome at all costs. I have no choice. At any rate, as long as she has that photo, I have no way of knowing how it might be used. I pull up my email address and show it to her. Looking back and forth from my phone to hers, she enters my info with terrifying speed. <laughs> this woman is an expert. I dub her power, Shining Finger. Her magical thumb types cursed emails at 255 characters per minute. Whoever receives one dies. And that kind of makes sense, because I was wondering why he called her Shining Finger in the anime. It never made sense, and now I get it. She's done typing my address. It took all of five seconds. Phoenix <laughs> <laughs> I repeat my perfect explanation. This is the origin of my true name. Explaining the in part of Hoenn would take too long, so I left it out. She enters my name with her head tilted to the side. Cool. <laughs> she lowers her head a little more. An apologetic bow, I guess. Gosh, some people are touchy about their phones, aren't they? She shakes her head, clutching her phone with both hands as to protect me from it. Protect it from me. Like a spoiled child who can't let go of a toy, she shields it from me with all her might. What does she think I'm going to do? Her reaction is a little depressing. Anyway, she's obviously not going to hand her phone over, so I ask for her address instead. I'll send her a blank mail. 
She told me her name a few minutes ago, but I forgot it already, so I enter a shining finger. <laughs> what am I doing standing here in the middle of the street? Let's hurry up and send her a blank mail. I don't need to type anything. It's just to give her my name. I already put her in my contacts. Just send a blank email to Shining Finger. Okay. Oh, he's already doing it. I don't have to do this. Cool. She frowns while looking at her phone. And then she glances my way. I can feel those eyes clearly saying, hurry up. But I'm hesitant. I'm not sure if it's a good idea to give her my true name. But regardless of how long I hesitate, I don't think she'll let me go until I send her the email. She sure is persistent. Looks like I have no choice but to send the email. We exchange a few words, and then I get away from her as fast as I can. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay, and this is where we're gonna stop for today. Um... I'm sure you know where this is going, so we're going to go to our tips, like usual. It's uh, It definitely gets interesting from here, so let's go up to the top, make sure we get everything. Now this is the one I couldn't pronounce, another name for bovine spongiform, mad cow disease. I think it, doesn't it like make their brain spongy almost, I think? Okay, Dojin Uh Okay, yeah. So I know, I know what these, I know what these are, and uh, they they sell them at events, basically. Dystopia, the opposite of a utopia, a completely regulated society, and most people have it bad. Esper, a general term for humans who possess supernatural powers. So it's it's basically a very general term for supernatural powers. Let's keep looking through these. Okay, the IBM. An American computer company. I thought IBM was. Okay, whatever. Uh, I thought IBM was a real company. Maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe it's something else. A maid cafe. A type of cafe where the waitresses wear maid uniforms. Uh, they call the customers master, and that's basically what we'll be heading into next episode. Uh, let's see. Media Scrum. During news stories with high public interest, reporters sometimes latch onto persons of interest, bombarding them with questions. And it's, uh, I mean, not, uh, not amazing. In the United Kingdom, the government organization responsible for foreign intelligence operations. Uh, which, uh, that's in the United Kingdom. In America, there's the, there's the FBI pretty much. And they they do a similar job. Just to give you an idea, uh, let's see, we got CERN here, a French acronym for Associate European pour la Nucléaire, or European Society for Nuclear Research, has a bank, a library, post office, and a dorm on the premises. So it's like a research facility. Trolling. On the internet to voice controversial opinions or false information for the pur purpose of provoking a reaction. Which I'm sure most people are very familiar with that. 98. A Japanese PC series sold in the mid-1980s to mid-1990s. It sold so well that at one point it was called the National Computer. I thought when they said 98, I thought they were saying like Windows 98. So, it's important to... Check some of these things that you're unfamiliar with, I suppose. And I believe that's everything. Yeah, okay, so we checked everything. Um, so, if it'll go back. Apparently not. Okay. Oh, back here. So, yeah, this is where we will begin from next time. Um, in case you don't know, because I was a little confused by it, this is a new character we haven't met right here. We'll, uh, we'll be introduced to her next time. This is actually my Yuri. I know it doesn't look like her, but it's Mayuri. And it took me until the second time I watched the anime to actually understand that. I didn't understand that. So this is Mayuri. Anyway, uh, this is where we're going to stop for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. 
and I'll see you next time for more Steinsgate the Visual Novel. Bye!